Hello my friends and welcome to another Tuesday of Tutorial. I am Leonardo Perez Nieto and today we will draw a boy and the shark digitally. I'll be using Procreate but you can follow along with any digital program. I created a screen size document and now we toned the background of the canvas blue. And I'll be using the hard blend brush. We draw a circle for the head of the boy with a line for the facing profile. I use a very simplified version of the Loomis method. We draw the neck and the shape of the torso and the hips, then the legs. And we continue refining and adding more detail, like the eyes, the hair and the ear. I will move up the lower part of the body because I think it's too long right now. So we select it and drag it. Yeah, that looks much better. We draw the arm. By the way, in case you are interested, a long version of this video will be available at my Patreon account. The link is in the description of this tutorial. And I would like to invite you also to join my Instagram and Twitter at ArtistLeonardo to see what is new. For example, an invite to come to an art exhibit which is happening this week. Good, and we make a new layer to sketch the shark. Let's draw the gills, which are so characteristic of sharks. Good. And I want to make it a little bit larger, like so. And with the eyes looking at each other. Back to layer one, because I want to correct the position of the hand a little bit and also I will make the body smaller to give him more the proportion of a young boy. So his head will be a little bit bigger proportionally. Let's mix a dark blue for the background. And we begin to color. First, I will do a thin outline of him. And now we fill in a base color for the skin. On a new layer, I will enrich the colors, add a lot of colors. Here we can be very creative and also add our own style. I will add the swimming suit in a different layer. And now let's paint the hair. First with a base color and then we can add shadows and lights. I darkened the background a bit more. Let's give some blue reflections to the skin. I think that would look very nice. On a new layer and with a dark bluish gray, let's paint the shark. with a reflection on top and the lower part is a bit lighter. Mm -hmm. 
Let's add a blue reflected light on the lower part. I will try adding more reflections on top. Let's see how it looks. I don't love it. I will soften it and add a more general light. Like so. This image, as you may have guessed, is for the graphic novel I am working on. It is a long project, I'll let you know when it gets published. I'm not in a hurry. I am enjoying the whole process and I want it to be beautiful. On a new layer at the very bottom and using a soft airbrush, I will darken the lower part of the background. Good. And let's add some bubbles. You know, he looks to me too bright and too pink to be underwater. So we go to adjustments and reduce the brightness, the saturation and the hue of the base layer of the skin. I want to make less evident the faraway arm and legs by adding some of the sea color on top of them. Let's try some beams of light coming through, like so. And if you got all the way to this point, I would love to know it. Please in the comments write me the secret code my dangerous friend. <laughs> and it's ready. If you enjoyed it, please give it a like. Subscribe to Fine Art Tips if you haven't done so already. Don't forget to visit Patreon with the link below for the long version of the video. And I will see you with more creations on Tuesday.